I mean, it might have been he's mid lichen. Yeah, that's true. It could be a mid lichen. Because there's no other hero can obviously go mid here. You can put Doom there, you can put Sensor there. It's not awful, but they all get crushed by Razor. I think even Lycan will have a hard time, but he might have the best out of those three, because he still has the Wolves to try to last it with when he gets all his damage sucked out, so... Um... Although, if they try it, they could run a Centaur mid, because he's easier to gank for, for their support duo. So then, if they find an opening, Shachlo, he's dead if he gets caught by a stun. It's triple stun, tons of burst damage. Um, and then the Lycan could farm the safe lane in that scenario, but... To be honest with you, if you look at Rave's lineup, I don't think it's crucial for them for Lycan to have a great start. I think he needs... A, a, he suffers a little bit in the first 5 to 10 minutes. If he can come back after that, I think they're going to be fine. It's more about what the trade-off is in that case, and if that's a centaur with a fast blink dagger, I think he's really good in this game. Um, but looking forward to see the clockwork. I feel like this hero is underappreciated. It's such a great hero, but it gets picked so rarely. Um relative to how good it is. Playing against Triple Melee, I, I think it's a really good choice here. All right, with that, we'll get underway. It's game two of this best of three. Rave currently leading the set one to zero. If they win this, PR have traveled all the way from Belarus for absolutely nothing and will go home. At, well, not nothing, but, but very little. Just one best of three at that point. They do get a little bit of money, as you mentioned, $7,000. So uh, they'll be looking to force a game three here. We've got Rave on the radiant side. Cast will be playing your Witch Doctor. Ninja Boogie, the Vengeful Spirit. Raya will be handling the Centaur in the Trilane. Does put Jay mid on the Lycan. Looks like he's probably rushing a bottle here. Double Tango's Quelling Blade out. And that does leave Chrissy as your offlane do. Meanwhile, on the Dire side. We just Zick playing the support. Skyrath looking for redemption. Moon will be on your Wraith King. So very potent dual lane here. J4 the Enigma in the jungle to start. Shadeshot will be on the Razor. And that does leave in the offlane Cheshire Cat as the clockwork. And one of the things Clockwork can do that makes him a good offlaner on the Dire as well is that he is one of the few offlaners who's able to distort the creep, the creep equilibrium. Pardon me. Um, the it's begins. the only two that really come to mind who are just stable offlaners on the Dire that I think can pretty much stand against any lane in theory are Clockwork and Lich. And it's just because they can, they can mess up the equilibrium. So Cheshire Cat will be getting experience here. He will be getting gold. The question is, how much can they reduce oh it to? Damage. They have a triple lane with great stun, but the centaur has to come in close for his stun, and it's likely that the cogs can come out before that unless they have perfect timing, especially with Cheshire Cat with, uh, with boots here. Also, perfect block by him, by the way. He lets through the range creep, which is going to get killed, and he gets the three melee creeps stuck out here in the side with his cogs, so very well done. He's going to get a full wave of experience for this for free. Yeah, he'll hit level two almost immediately, and, well, as far as, the, as, far as elsewhere on the map, this means that they're probably going to get a bit more. Chrissy is just jungling for now, so they're getting something out of their offlane. Rave are, yeah, they're getting stuff from their jungle, but this is also with the enigma of PR having free farm in his woods. So this time around, said it seems like PR are getting a lot more other lanes. I mean, it's super early, but you're also looking at a Razor going mid. Should have an easy time at just zoning out this Lycan, and if nothing else, get his farm. Although the Lycan will still get something and. Yeah, and it's an empty safe lane for them. So, in general, PR, much better start already. Yeah, if they can get away, away with uh, with running a jungle enigma and just not pay anything for it, it's the classic way to a short game. I don't know how many games we've seen uh, through the last couple of years where enigma just ends up being, making such a big difference when it's uncontested and you don't really get any trade-off. I me... can totally imagine that happening again here. Let me ask you, do you think they should have gone aggressive into the PR woods at level 1? I don't see why they wouldn't. I think their level 1 is actually superior, but... Doom is kind of bad. Lycan is good if he skills Howl. He does a lot for the team, and they would have a triple stun. Going into Wraith King, who's good level 1, Cogs could really mess them up, though. Uh, but Enigma is worthless on level 1 as well, so... I think they could have got away with it. I think it's really important whenever you play against Enigma that either you counter his jungle or you have a, a solution. And there's just no plan, it looks like, for Rave. It's like... It's like the opposite of game one, where it just it was just PR that didn't have a solution. This time around, Rave. I'm still waiting to see what, where, they're, where they're going. We're two minutes in, but already it, you can just see this, this gold graph slowly and experience just dipping, 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 and there's no trade-off. Yeah, it's a thousand experience edge already, and I mean, that's actually, a, that's a lot for two and a half minutes in. They're also getting good farm on their other lanes. As mentioned, like, they're not just getting their levels in mid and top, they're free farming there as well. At the same time, J.O. is doing a decent job mid, he's now picked up his bottle, he'll be bottle crowing, and... 
We can never underestimate the power of the wolf. We've seen it too many times, even with a mediocre laning stage. Lycans take over the game, but top lane there will be a stun on Chrissy. Harassment for Moon for now. Doesn't have any follow for this, but just wants to keep him low HP. The main thing I'm, I guess that Rave will look towards is going to be the blink on the centaur. Because he's getting pretty much free farm in this bottom lane, although he's not CSing as well as some of these other solos. But he's the one hero that's really off to a good start, and I guess he's going to be the engine for them in the mid-game since. Yeah, it can be a little bit tricky to uh, get the same farm as the safe laner for the Dire here, since, as mentioned before, Clockwork is going to mess up this lane as much as possible, and some of the CS will be under Clockwork's tower. And he can't really go to get them, because if he gets cogged in next to the tower and starts taking battery assault damage, he could be killed off, so... It's it's still looking fairly okay for Rave if they manage to accomplish something in the next 10 minutes, but... I'm, I'm mainly looking at Jail. I think it's the Lycan who needs to pressure some towers early on, uh, maybe even start ganking on level 6 with a shapeshift and get a couple of kills with the stunners, and, and that can lead to a tower kill. And it looks like the action will actually be coming now. Rave are getting ready to smoke up. Haven't used it just yet. And actually might not do it at all. Looking for the, the rune. Yeah, looking for the four minute rune. Let's see what Ninja Boogie gets. Ooh. Easter and not spotted by the Dire. This could be a potential first blood. Especially with how shadechill has been playing. He's been rather aggressive in this mid lane. But is our Venge gonna head that way? That's that's the, the question right now for Ninja Boogie. No, heading towards top. They're gonna try and make a move here. Doom does have the Centaur stop picked up. This could also be a kill opportunity. This, this would is be big. definitely a possible kill, but if we just sick as fast and silence as the Doom, I don't think they can. Let's see but if they get off that initial here. stun. He actually gets silenced. They go on Chrissy. It could turn against them. We just sick is in too far. And with the Centaur stop, it'd be enough. Don't even need it. It's just the auto attacks for the Doom, so... Well, that makes it easy. <laughs> If they use that silence offensively and put the Scarab Mage in harm's way, then there, there's no plan B to get out. Yeah, the first play again to Wraith. Fine with this. They were probably hoping to get the Wraith King uh, with the way they're positioning, but maybe they wouldn't actually even have been able to get that kill, so perhaps this outcome is, is the best they could hope for. And they need more of that. They're now leading a little bit on gold, but it's negligible. But still 1500 experience going to a PR. It's a level 6 enigma at 5 minutes. This is pretty much ideal timing for J4. Uh, while Clockwork isn't getting so much in the offlane compared to the Doom, it's still easily a better trade-off for PR right now. Clock can do so much more just with levels. Uh, and with Enigma getting that much farm, we're looking at a fast mech, and that item's gonna be really good against Rave. Well, if they wanted to go on Ryo, the silence just wasn't quick enough for Regis sick. Couldn't get a range in time, so Cheshire can't, can't reel him in with the cogs, but... Now they bring him back up, it's Cast coming in as the Witch Doctor. And simultaneously, oh, this is the big move, J4 smoked. He's got Black Hole ready to go, they stampede, and they try to go in bottom lane on this clockwork, but the wraparound's gonna come now, as Cast will arrive, the, the double edge will get the kill. And still waiting for this Enigma jump. Ninja Boogie's the one mid, though. They really want the Lycan, and he's off in the woods right now. Oh, and he even broke the smoke. Venge just took a little bit of a step to the left and saw the Enigma, so essentially waste of time here coming out from J4. Also a smoke wasted, which... Shouldn't be underestimated. In a game where, once again, Rave is off to the better start in terms of kills, if the smoke ganks fail, Rave might start feeling really safe farming aggressively around the map. As long as Clockwork isn't level 6, at least, they're going to be okay. I don't like what level now. That is the one thing about the solo mid Lycan. Even if he gets out farm, which he's not that far behind, although there's some jungle farm here, but he's still going to get his levels. They popped his ultimate, but Ninja Boogie couldn't get in range for that initial stun. While well, meanwhile, top lane, oh, they've gone in on Chrissy. Black Hole was used for this. Concussive shot will follow it up, and once new didn't even need the last auto attack from Regis Sick. They get the kill. So a missed opportunity mid for Rave, and a, a conversion top lane. But multiple conversions. Actual conversion to a kill and demonic conversions. will push this tower through. Yeah, this... No, nah, they're probably gonna defend this with just the cast, actually. There's not too many creeps here. Oh, now the next wave is coming in, but cast and boom coming in is probably gonna... gonna stop this push, and the Eidolon's also dying off. He's gonna make some new ones here, but... Uh, they might get half the tower, if they're lucky. No, oh, not even. Yeah, these Eidolon's aren't even gonna split. They're just being fed away at this point. Which will slow down his jungle as well for 20 seconds or so. But still our Enigma's on pretty good pace. He'll be the one pick up the mech, so that leaves Shadeshell free to rush his eggs. Uh, not really the best BKB game, I don't think, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll see him most likely just go for more of a carry oriented to build from the Razor. While well, he's doing that, uh, he's sitting at the bottom of the No hookshot yet, though. 
It's tough and he to get was up actually close. spotted. You saw the ping coming out there from Ninja Boogie because of this melee creep right here. He was trying to cut in this way, but he got spotted with that angle there. Excellent drawing. Um, so basically, <laughs> wasting his time here, and he's now going to be cutting back to mid. Waste of TP of about 30 seconds as well, and Central will we'll know we'll that Razor's heading back now, so he's going to go back and farm again. Alright, well, for PR... He's going to lose his tower for that rotation almost, actually, Shashlo. That's a big mistake. Wow. Well, he waited a while bottom as well. Like, after he TP'd, he was just sitting there, hoping for an opportunity to sneak into the woods. And it really cost them very little. Although, Cheshire Cat does have his ultimate, completely whiffs on the hook shot. Oh, man. He was off by, like, at least 400 plus units. Now Jared just runs top instead, but Moon has his ult. Top so will get the tower to my mid lane. Still it's a tier 1 mid down already. Jared makes his way into the dire woods. He's just trying to play keep away here, it seems. Just rotating away from the main brunt of the attack. Doom is online. And they're gonna push since... Centaur Blink now picked up. This is a big timey window, although he, he will go heal. Oh, we just think he's taking a lot of damage from these wolves. <laughs> he's losing half his health to a couple of attacks, and even now, Stampede... Affecting the wolves, almost getting him here. Might even get him. It's gone in Viz. It can come back out and start auto attacking him. Meanwhile, Malefice slowing down Ninja Boogie, but it's only a level on Malefice. He's leveling up Midnight Pulse over it. So it just isn't enough lockdown to get in range of that bench for a follow up stun. That's a pretty unusual skill build, right? I don't feel like we see that too often. I saw it once the other good. day. I think I saw it the other day, but it was with. I think it was with a Void. There was like some really good AoE to, to set up. Uh, uh, excuse me, set up the Midnight Pulse, which he doesn't really have this game. I guess he has Clockwork. Yeah. It is an unusual build. At the same time, I guess you look at Rave, and they have three beefy strength tanks, so... In theory, Midnight Pulse is better yeah, than normal in this game. Yeah. They're gonna do a lot of extra damage, but I just feel like, in most cases, the Malefist stun duration actually makes a huge difference when you go for this. On level 4, it's a total stun duration of... Three seconds, which is really, really good. But yeah. might, but, well, see if he just got a value an extra value point, midnight pulse for whatever reason, and then levels it up, or if he just leaves Malefice in level one. I just don't remember seeing this even once before. They're getting slightly, I guess, outmaneuvered is the word right now. Although Rave aren't able to take the Roshan, they they were making the their way towards it, just I guess not having enough damage yet. But if they want to buy a medallion on Jail. Not sure if I'll go for it. I, I think the purchase rate on that is a lot lower. Oh, bottom lane. Blink it. Stop the Storm Cheshire Cat. Magic Missile to follow. Double edge and down he goes. The Centaur Blink doing a lot of work for them. Two zero zero. And more importantly, just it means the Clockwork's not going around Yankee right now. He's sitting in the well. And one thing we can forget, the Centaurs are usually play in a C played are in the off lane, but if he's in the safe lane, this hero can actually get really strong in the mid late game too. If you keep it in good farm and get a couple of ganks here and there, he can become a threat for a hero like even Wraith King, who will not just be able to fight him head on, even though he's in a carry position as well. Central will just man up, fight back, and if he has a lot of strength, the return is going to do a lot of damage. Kind of same thing goes for Razor. So... We're talking a lot about Lycan getting the farm he needs, and Doom as well, getting decent farm, but the Centaur is not just the Blink. That's what he is for now, but... Okay, he's going for a four Staff, though, so kind of going Utility for now, which I'm not sure if I agree with here, to be honest. The Force is great against Clockwork, though. Yeah, and that's probably the thinking here, is your Venge is farming okay as an urn, but Witch Doctor's not getting the Force anytime soon. They can swap heroes out of the cogs, but... Yeah. <laughs> Sacrifice the bench for that. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an eh. I guess if it saves your carry, it's alright. PR want to fight now, though. They're moving in with the Wraith King ultimate. They've had it online for quite a few minutes now. They'll even bring Weeja Zik in for the He's got his ultimate. And Wraith are playing very safe Dota since, like, they... The first game, I don't think they ever really got caught up in a compromising position. That was a bit of a stomp, but this time around, same thing. They, they try to make a move into their woods, but immediately the rocket gives them vision. They just smoked out of range, but PR, I think they saw two or three of those walking walk into the, the rocket AoE. They may have an idea this is coming. too worried about it, though. And this is a 5 on 4 JOTP's down. He forced the Razor top. Will J4 get a black hole? They don't know about him. There's many a lot of- Oh, they found him! They found him with the Doom! Oh, without J4's mech, without the black hole, there's just no way. 
with Star Doe coming through. Moon's ult will proc here. He'll be brought down. Chase will be getting to steal damage, but they already lost their Enigma. The Wraith King coming back to life, but he's going to die a second time. Rave with a beautiful fight. All of it on the back of Chess first. I keep on wanting to say Chessy. Chrissy's. Chrissy's great doom there. What a very natural to go into the modern building here, but he's held it for the Enigma, and it left PR with no plan B. And they even end up losing their tier 1 power here as well. Don't think they'll pursue the tier 2 here, but again, just... It's kind of weird for me seeing PR in two successive games get, like, no kills in the early game. Because to me, they've kind of become known as the giant slayers, because in some games in the Western scene, they just upset big teams. They've beaten teams like Na'Vi and Alliance in the past, especially during those teams' as primes, but... It's just, they usually win by early aggression, roaming really well and finding kills. They've got two kills combined so far in two games. I, it's so uncharacteristic for me, seeing PR like this. And, and Rave honestly looks very strong right now. Their drafting has been solid, their support movements, that's maybe the one thing you can look at and say, especially this game, they were a little bit slow, but they got the lucky haster and they rotate top, found a kill. They've been on points and, and it just seems like they're one step ahead of PR in general. Even though the laning stage looked like it would be a huge win for PR, it's, it's not turned out to be the case. And even the, the Lycan mid, who's all mid, like, they've gone in and who doesn't have a bit cut out by set by stop, tanking that Witch Doctor ultimate, didn't even need to blow up Doom. They will get a trade, though. Tower goes down bottom for the Enigma. And the PR have to find more than this. It's not good enough that they're trading towers. They have to either get more towers or at least get some kills, too, on the board. It's just a better exchange every single time so far in the game. While the thing is, the mid-tier one is standing and the PR top tier one is standing. I consider that fairly even. The top tier one for PR is actually really important for controlling their jungle. So if I'm PR, I want to fight to defend that town. Uh oh. Jayshaw caught out. It's just an initial cast back, but then they do them. They follow up with the double edge. Even through that hook shot, Jayshaw's in danger of going out. One more auto save with is Not enough though. Then the black hole comes in from Jayshaw. Catching out two of Ray's heroes. They'll drop. Chrissy's still chasing. They just managed to finish the Razor though. And he was not denied. He went down to the Centaur in the end. Chrissy now trapped in the cogs as Ryo tries to make his retreat. This could be a, the best fight they've had their entire tournament. To be fair, only two games, but Chrissy caught out now. And chased out by the battery salt. He'll get off an initial follow-up stomp, but it's just not enough. Ends up going down. But it's in with the Lycan. You don't want to cage the wolf in with you. And we'll end up retreat out. Ryo wanted to blink in there, but his blink got disabled. So in the end, Sin, they, they clean up three heroes and force right back. They did lose the tier 1 top though that I was saying I think they should fight for, but they didn't really have a choice there. They had to reinforce a lot there in mid to get that fight, so... I think it was a 3 for 1 exchange and a tower going the way of Rave, so fairly even, but... To me, the map control is still more important. Because the, the moment Raves start taking out them over the map like they did in game 1, they once again have a scouting mechanism. Last time it was the Illusions of Naga, now they have the Wolves. They can find pickoffs. Their lineup is exceptionally good at just finding one target and killing it off. They have Doom, Swap, uh, Witch Doctor all, even the Blink Stomp initiation from Centaur that we've seen a couple of times already. They have the tools, they just need the vision. And the moment PR start losing, especially the Tier 2s, it's going to be so difficult for them to get out on the map. PR are out on the map right now, but they're making a pretty yeah. risky move. They're going up multiple hills. They do have this Observer Ward down here, giving them a bit of vision. And now they'll jump in. And they found two in the cards with the Mystic Flare to follow this up. Vench will try to swap herself out to safety, but that's not going to be enough. Ninja Boogie will go down. Doom, Meal on the mid lane, on to so instantly the Razor dies. A BB Wolf chasing out Moon, four step forward. The stop's there. He just melts to the right clicks. This Wolf is big, and he is bad. And with no Black Hole, they cannot fight him. The push in the middle lane. And even when it looks like it's going to be just a clean exchange for PR, they still end up giving up two kills. And it's the bigger kill, Sin. It's two cores for two supports. Yeah, easily a better trade here for Rave. The, I'm not sure. Oh, they forced a glyph before the creep support was there. A bit of a mistake here from PR. That's going to cost them the tower for sure. They might have had a slight hope of defending it with a better glyph usage, but no, I don't think... Oh, nice silence by we just said. Had a cast before Rio even blinked in, and Kasira was instantly ready. Could have gone down there to a stomp otherwise. For sure. So, 
Yeah, they still get a better a 2 for 2 trade with a tier 2, again, advantage Rave, they are getting great farm. Lycan, who we weren't, we weren't really sure how strong Lycan would be early on based on his lane against Razor, but he pretty much tied the lane overall, and after that he's been getting way more. He's got 4 kills, I think he got 1 or 2 of the towers, at least he got the tier 2 they just got now, oh, and stop. mid lane, J4, bye bye. Yeah, another blink stun combination, great patience there by Ninja Boogie. Holy his stun total, right, as the Centaur stomp ends, which is actually quite a long duration stun, 2.75 seconds. And now they, they they can go for this tier 2 bottom, they can try and sneak a Roshan. Well, it wouldn't really be a sneak, I suppose, but go for a Roshan. Let's see, what do they have in store for us? Roshan will be? Into the yeah, pit they 15 go. 15 seconds on Enigma, I think it's more than enough. Even though they don't have Medallion, they have the, the Swiftness Aura on the Doom, they have the Lycan, of course, with the Vlads. And even the wave of terror. The PR are not going to give this up without a fight. Worrying, they have a hook shot here. They have a Mystic Flare available, and then they go with the Blade Mel on Moon. He's trying to draw the aggro for the time being. Razor walking in. The hook shot's there. Killed by the Dire. No one's picked up the Aegis. The Venge will snatch it. They just couldn't click on it with all his heroes in the pit. Moon will drop here, but his ult's going to slow everyone down from the high ground. Comes a beautiful Witch Doctor ultimate, catching out the majority of PR, and Ray will press forward here despite losing the Aegis. Oh, and the Roshan kill. It just wasn't enough, I should say. Rave now chasing out J4. It'll be 5 dead. It's a full wipe. It could have been so much better for PR, but Ninja Boogie with the quick clicks grabs the Aegis and salvages in it. And then basically from there is the Witch Doctor is winning them the fight. I think even the ones who expected uh, Rave to win today, even though this game isn't over, but they're definitely cruising towards a, a very easy 2-0 swipe the way this is looking right now. I don't think anyone expected them to be this dominant. I'm really, really impressed, especially the positioning of the supports and the movement. I think it's been really, really good in these two games. They've accomplished a lot more around the map. They found the openings. I think the Witch Doctor in this game played a phenomenal game, pretty much always in the right place at the right time, getting great death wars off. In most games you see Witch Doctor, there might be one or two good death hold usages, but it seems like he has it off cooldown all the time and just finds kills with it. And he's been part of 10 kills with the Witch Doctor so far, and I think Rave are... I, I don't know, is, is Rave underperforming, PR underperforming, or is it both? I, I'm having a hard time really seeing it right now, it just it seems really one-sided. Well, I definitely think Rave are not underperforming. <laughs> They're playing pretty damn well. Um... If PR does, this is not the PR that I've been casting in Starlighter, though. Like, uh, they look a little lost, a little rattled. They're not a team with a ton of LAN experience, especially not outside of CIS. They've played at a few smaller events in in Russia and Ukraine, but uh, hold that thought. Mid lane on the Shade Show, he's got nothing. Treads and a drum. Just get shredded by J.O.'s Basher and right clicks. Do they just go in mid now? This could just be it. Rave might be through to the round of four already. You need to be a little bit cautious here. Not there is buyback on Razor, actually. Razor is buyback, Black Hole is available, Hookshot is up <laughs> as well, and the uh, Mystic Flare from Skyrath Mage, so... And they are pushing the Midnight Pulse. That is definitely no fun. They're gonna try for it. While this was happening, the Doom finds a solo kill on the Wraith King bottom lane, but Jay push in first hit Bash! Oh, the Bash! He might have to Black Hole this just to live, or does he sack his own life? Oh, he'll sack it. He doesn't have buyback. Um, uh, maybe should have black hole there. Oh no! This is problematic! Rave King's dead, he doesn't have buyback either! And this just might be the first lane of Rex, and Rave are just dominating PR! This is game two! They're done, they're out of the tournament if they go down here, Shade Show gets caught up! Slot back! Oh, she's there, but there's no- Oh, there's no Witch Doctor! Don't continue to chew through Cheshire Cat! Rave are dominating! PR look lost. They're gonna get farmed up at the tier 3 towers. Going in by one by one, dying one by one. Shade Show ball back, he'll die again. That's a dieback for him, and it's pretty much GG. TP in for Moon, straight into a stun. That's that's gotta be it. Like, they're just speeding. At this point, stomped and, and killed off again. Jeez, they just completely self-destructed. Yeah, when you start making these endgame buybacks or TPing in one hero into five using your blade mail, 
You've kind of given up. I mean, if you were holding on to the hope of winning this game, you would TP in there. You would wait, see the racks, wait for heroes to be back, and try to take an even a fight with even numbers. But if you start doing these <laughs> one into five TPs, you've basically given up on the game. Well, two lanes of racks down against the Lycan. There ain't no coming back from this. <laughs> Not this early. Um, PR probably about to GG out. Maybe they'll go for that one more fight, one big black hole. To rule them all. Oh, do they even get that? Oh, they got nothing right now. Sharkat maybe searching for a hook shot, but nobody close to being in range. I I gotta tell you, Sin, I I have not seen Rip play once since TI. Um, and they've like gone through some a few slight roster tweaks, I believe, but they are they're looking good. They look kind of close to MVP Phoenix to me. I'm so, I saw their record in the KDL, and it's not very good. They're third place. They have a losing record. MVP Phoenix is undefeated, I believe, and uh, is right behind them, but they look amazing here. And also, I think PR just looks a little bit lost, but nonetheless, they'll smoke now. They'll look for Chrissy top lane. He's got a blink dagger. He got off a time. He to do something. Hook shot, nah, there we go. Play map, pushing him, into, pushing him into the wall and hook two. J4, but there's not much follow up for this. Uh. Bye, man. Okay, it's a Blake like it. Why the hell not, man? Jayo just runs and he kills off one. A faster two, he'll get some more here. Running away from Shaysho now, going into Moon instead. Yeah, yeah, the other casters are like, okay, that's a Blake like it. That's when you know it's time to pack it in. When you're losing fights to a Blink like it. And not even a necessary blink. He'll get two bashes on Treasure Cat. Looking for that third, he gets back into the cogs. And the cast will bounce through. Now Valak's painting it too. Everybody's excited by this blink like it. Oh, PR. Just being humiliated by Rave. For the observers. The run ends here. What a, this is just what a game. Absolutely over. What a, a complete stomp of the series. Do, do you just go back to the draft and just say, like, how did Lycan get through as the fifth pick? Is that, is that your feeling at this point? I feel like draft was a bigger problem in game one than in game two. They just got outclassed in this game as well. I think they had the tools they needed with the start. Enigma got a really fast level six. Clockwork got what he needed out of the offlane. They had free farm on the Wraith King. Uh, Skyrath got the levels. He actually had a fairly...